Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Sun, Moon, and Rising um, Scorpion. I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here, thank you for being back, thank you for the positive energy vibration, and thank you for being here. It is the first week of uh, um, February, the week begins 29th of January until the 4th of February. I want to say thank you to each and every person, thank you for your support, likes, and shares. And thank you for connecting with us as we move forward we're going to look and see what is transpiring in your week the first energy on Monday is the nine of swords um, a lot of worries on Monday on Tuesday you have the energy of the five of Pentacles on Wednesday we have the energy of the king of swords in reverse which is wonderful and good and let's see what we have on Thursday on Thursday we have the knight of swords coming at you okay as we move on we're going to see what is happening for Friday Friday you have the energy of strength and what do we have for Saturday Saturday we have the moon which is your own energy and Sunday we have the six of ones this is wonderful because also the cancers have the six of ones um, in their energy too so it's, it's a wonderful thing because it's a week of fire with fire with hair but a lot of you water sign all of you water signs have good messages coming up which is um, just so wonderful so let's see what is happening as the overall energies for you scorpions in this week because most of you water sign have good readings and here you have the nine of ones you're you are protected you are protected whatever is going on you are protected so this is um very very good so we are looking at you scorpion reading and on monday there is going to be a lot of worries coming at you a lot of things going through your head a lot of situation a lot of scenarios um, that is happening for you on Monday but on Tuesday you have the energy of the um, five of Pentacles in reverse so there you have you know your worries is kind of um, down then on Wednesday the energy of uh, um, someone who is uh, and uh, this person because um, it's as if you had a situation with someone who is over the age of 40 an older person and this person was um, the, the energy of uh, the night, the energy of, you know, um, an Aquarius, a, a Libra, or a, a Gemini. And, and, and now you are having the night of the swords coming at you. And it's as if he, 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 um, you know, he came at the, the older person and like no and 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 then you had to find strength so it is and it's a sort it is it's really 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 a sort of um a situation that is going on on that now you you are seeing now you are seeing a lot of things clearly it's as if the energy of the moon which is your own energy vibration is bringing forth information and letting you see certain things that are happening and then you have the energy of the six of wands so we're going to go and see what is happening because obviously there was a lot of worries about your financial situation which is no more and um, a situation who this could be your boss who is the, the king of swords and whatever has transpired is as if the energy of someone who is young a sword person a, a hair person is going to come in and you know no and then you have to find the strength to say no I'm, I'm standing up to this I'm not stepping back and I'm not moving away and then the energy of the moon is going to show you and give you the intuition because this moon is really about intuition and you're going to be victorious and successful in whatever that is happening so let's see uh, the wheel of fortune because this as obviously this was a situation that has a karmatic situation because as you look here and you see oh, how a lot of people were worried about something a lot of people were you know so many thoughts so many thoughts going in their head 
and the nine of and you know there is the ending to a situation now whatever that has transpired between you and the king of swords and um, the energy of strength it is now in um, it's it is now ended it has now ended it's as if the universal guides and the infinity universe step in because now the energy of the wheel of fortune is coming so um let's see what is coming up because this is was a karmatic situation where you're having so many words and you have to have have and stand up and have inner strength and then you have the energy of the five of pentacles so as we move on we have the energy of the five of Pentacles in reverse and you're understanding what is supposed to be happening and what is it that you need to do and that is what you're going to do and you're going to move forward with that okay and you have the energy of the angling so it's the wheel of fortune which is um, fire water fire water and if you look at your week your week um, is more of a standing up for injustice and equality this is what your week is all about standing up for injustice and equality this is all what this is all about standing up for injustice and equality because you have realized that something of injustice and equality has to happen thank you Yeah, isn't this wonderful? You are going to triumphantly come out of this. You are so going to triumphantly come out of this and win this situation. Wow. Uh, uh, uh. Yep. Success. Triumphant. You have triumphantly, and then good news is going to come to you. You have triumphantly overcome a situation, and success is going to be coming at you. Isn't this wonderful? wonderful 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 wherever it is you um scorpion thank you you have the wheel of fortune you have your own energy vibration the energy of the moon you have been going to a situation with the energy of uh, um the king of swords you have going to a situation with the energy of the king of swords the king of swords is someone who is uh, um, it is someone who is uh, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a um, Libra. And what, whatever has transpired, whatever has happened, there is someone younger who came at him and says, no, absolutely not. No, it's not happening. No, it's, it's, it's not going to happen. No. And you... Have victoriously overcome whatever that has transpired because all of what is going on is a karmatic situation all of what is going on is a karmatic situation okay all of what is going on is a karmatic situation so whatever that has happened whatever that has transpired it is a karmatic situation and this is triumphant a good outcomes this is a positive good outcomes so whatever that has been happening in your life whatever that has transpired in your life whatever that took place in your life um, it is an, an situation where um, it was a, it was very 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 bad because um, um, and, and and this is it a lot of stuff a lot of secrets are going to come out in this year so be prepared I think more of these sort of a reading is going to come up because a lot of secrets are going to be coming out a lot of secrets are going to be coming out in this year okay so 
there is a lesson to learn from this situation there is a lesson to learn from this situation and whatever the lesson is that is supposed to come out of the situation there is a must a lesson to learn from this situation and there is going to be some conflicts that is going to happen there is going to be really have some conflicts conflicts that is um, you know really happen and the energy of the Sun comes out so but it's going to be good it's going to be um, overcome um, these conflicts and situation is going to overcome and then we have the energy of uh, um, uh, um, dreaming of new possibilities and news and, and new things that are happening and then um, we have uh, the energy of uh, moving forward and uh, going on a new journey so um, this is wonderful so um the tower whatever that has transpired this is the energy of the tower there is a cleansing because whatever has transpired here we are a cleansing these are good because there's so many major arcana that is in this reading and the energy is final there is an end to the madness that has taken place okay there is finally an ending to the madness that has taken place and with this you're moving forward now and you're trying to build on something and moving forward and this is going to be good okay so as um, we all um, you know looked upon life how life and situation is at the end of the day there is the Sun the energy of the Sun comes out there is a victory and a success there is a new start for you no matter what has happened no matter the karmatic situation that has transpired in your life no matter um, you you know being in limbo not knowing what and where and what is happening and that sort of a thing and you are going to really really see that there is a new start a new beginning the energy of the Sun is success is coming at you success and triumph is coming at you and you are going to be on a new journey so say thank you to the universe to the infinity universe for this um, finally finally coming um, out of this really really negative uh, situation that has taken place and um, you know that it has finally come to an end whatever lies that was told is a finally come to an end um, the energy the tower comes in and it blazes everything out and it brings uh, um, a situation to the end and this is good so let let's see what are the other messages that is coming up a miracle thank you so people ask for America ask for a miracle please ask for a miracle because um, when we ask for a miracle when we said um, you know I'm calling up in the universal angels for a miracle a miraculous um, effort and miraculous change in the situation call up on the universe for healing divine healing and divine intervention in um, situation um, they will deliver it they will deliver it it's just as if if you have judged someone in because sometimes we judge people and it's not because we want to judge people it's because other people say something about this someone or it's because you have um, because certain energy also because maybe someone um, carries so, a certain sort of energy maybe you're in the crowd and you meet someone and then you receive this energy so it says don't trust them don't trust them sometimes because I always say and this is what I'm saying I always say listen to your intuition but sometimes you can be wrong about your intuition and that is because of maybe something that someone say or maybe um, something that someone do because I um, as a psychic you 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 tend to know when negative energies when you're affected by negative energies and it's not even a psychic because I channel it is the more that you know when you're not feeling you know when the energy something negative you know when you walk in a building and it is negative you know when things are happening for you and you are not feeling well and 
um, you can feel it if even you're in your house and you walk in your house and you think oh my god um, and call up an Archangel Gabriel supervisor of thorn element master of fire fire settlement and fire dragon to clear the energies in your aura in your house first in the, the space of your house and then in your aura, and then ask them to seal you off because what what happened is that um, people can send negative energies or bring negative energies to your house and that sort of a thing okay and um, what is happening is that if you walk in your house and you're thinking oh my god why does the energy because people do feel it and the more I speak about energies the more that people are going to be aware of their surrounding and aware of the energies Ask, you know, Archangel Gabriel, supervisor of Torn Element Master, fire, fire, Solomon, and the fire dragon to blaze fire in every room of your house, in every, you know, in the kitchen. And just you can name it and ask them, um, you know, to call in the angels of collector seal to remove them. And then ask Archangel Gabriel to place our pure white light after the cleaning is finished and then ask them to clear your aura so you first clear your space and then you clear your aura you ask them to seal your aura off so that nothing that is not off and, and you know and, and fourth and fifth dimensional world can access your aura and you know this is one of those times that you can ask for a miracle a miracle cleansing of your house and to keep it safe and to keep out lower forms of energy so this is good because I can feel it I know um, and you need to start learning this whenever negative things and negative energies around you is that you get this duong, this push to do something to do something and yeah and this is it and this is how it is and they give and, 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 and so a scenario of negative stories and I had a someone who I had to apologize against and um, I, 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 too because I I got this flood of energy and I'm, I'm like so I said you know something I need to talk to you because I just need to talk to you face to face and then when the person was there face to face I'm thinking oh my god couldn't I have been you know and I said, you know something, you know, I have to apologize. And I guess something, this happened because of so, so, so. And he says, I do understand that. And he, he held on to my hand and said, you have the power of seeing positive things and doing positive things. But sometimes the energies of lower energies come. So don't feel bad that you know you see this and he says if you believe that it is there then it it will affect you of course I knew that but it is just that I was so taken by and I said you know come and see me because I needed to see him I need his energy to be in in, in, um, in my present this is why I always say to people let me have your date of birth and your full name um, when I'm reading you because that's how the miracle does happen that's how I'm connecting to your guiding angels and, and, and things are happening and the miracle does really happen so you know whatever the situation acts for a miracle this week so you know let's do this together we're calling up on the angels and guiding and because you this is a miracle that came in the past it's like a miracle happened and suddenly everything falls in place and this is good okay so let's move on and let's trickery hmm. okay we have the energy of trickery so be careful because someone is um, like, yeah, being trickery be very careful be careful because someone is trying to trick you um, I'm gonna ask who and where is this trick we're coming from ask who and where is this trick we're coming from 
who is this and where is this trickery coming from how oh 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 thought as much ha <laughs> ha okay should I do another one okay so someone is going to try and trick you and that is going to be the Prince of Pentacles oh my god Mm -hmm. you know this Prince of Pentacles has been going on for a very long time anyway remember the Prince of Pentacles is going to try and trick you so be aware okay namaste until next week next time